Hello kids, it's Bosco's Toy Box and I'm back with more toy collectibles and I'm here to show you the last toy haul of 2015. I went to three different thrift stores. I went to Epic, I went to Savers, and uh, Goodwill. I almost forgot the third one there. Uh, first off, I'm going to show you uh, stuff that I have for other people. First up, Dismania. This is the Toy Story Dinosaur toy. Um, it's sort of like a flashlight, I guess. Uh, it does talk and make noises. So there's a trigger underneath the tail. Speaker box is right there so you can hear it. And there's actually, when he opens up his uh, mouth, there's a, uh, some kind of light or flashlight inside of his mouth. There we go. Okay. So, Diz, that goes to you. Okay. And for Brian Starner, since he collects vintage Smurfs, you've already seen this because I've shown it to you the other day, but that goes into your trade box. It's awesome. No paint loss, no paint wear. Very clean looking figure there. Okay. Uh, next, Sean Henry. I got this Hot Wheels van. I already have it, so this goes to you. Um, I'm going to offer this up to Starner uh, if he wants it or not. It looks like it went on top of some kind of uh, plaster or ceramic uh, figure thing, but this is a Care Bear, so uh, I don't know what the year is because there's no, um, like, date or there's not like uh since it's part of a, another piece uh, i'm sure that's what it was on so if you want this care bear let me know sterner dismania i have a pvc figure of christopher robin and i have one of eeyore so that does go to you Dismania, this also uh, goes to you if you want. Uh, I'm pretty sure this is Oliver and Company. Okay. If uh, anybody wants this, because I, I got two of these uh, from the uh, from the toy haul. So this is Judy Judson, and uh, this is a uh, premium. So anybody wants that, let me know. Uh, trail mixer, I've got this little animal if you want that. Okay. Um, this is a Star Wars Hero Clicks, so if anybody wants it, and it is, where's the, okay, because he is posable like that. Okay, so this is a Hero, Star, uh, Hero Clicks Star Wars. If somebody wants it, let me know. Uh, I've got two of these, so this is my extra one, so if anybody wants this Pokemon, let me know. Um, that is, looks like that might be it. I might, oh, I'm sorry, there's one other one. This is a, uh, Tonka Premium, uh, it looks like. It's not marked, uh, any kind of McDonald's or Burger King, but it looks like it's a Tonka Premium. I have two of these that I got today, so I'm keeping one. Let me know if uh, you want the other one. Okay, so now everything else is not up for trade. Okay, again, not up for trade. So I've got a Nintendo, uh, I always uh, forget, uh, it's always a, it's a, a Koopa. I always. Uh, Get them mixed up between that and then and another character like I did in the last video. This is a Couch Patch Kid PVC figure. Let me see so if you can get some focus on that. So that's pretty cool that I got that. Okay. Let's see. I'm trying to get everything. This interesting uh, PVC figure. He's got magnets on the bottom of his feet. His eyes are popping out like that. I just thought that it was really cool. This one was free because he was loose on the shelf and they just gave it to me for free. Uh, that was at um, Savers, actually. This is another PVC. This is the 
Tane uh, Lips Mascot. Okay. I got this very cool thing from Bandai 2002. This is a Godzilla Mothra uh, figure. So that's very cool. No paint loss, no paint wear, so that's very cool because this thing is really colorful. So it's very cool. Okay, let's see, I got a, I think this is a, one of the cheapy figures, let's see if you can see that, so, but still pretty cool, so I'm keeping him, I've got, very cool, love this knight, I'm going to go in my collection and the horse came with it too, so that's very cool. Oh, Dismania, I, I forgot about this. So I don't know what it goes to, some place set or whatever, but this is a Mickey Mouse fire hydrant and hose, so I'm um, assuming it goes to a play set. So that's gonna go to you, Dismania. Okay, I got this uh, cheapy car because it just says made in China, but I just kind of like the animal print on it. So that's cool, so I'm gonna keep that. Here's that other Tonka truck that I just showed, so that's mine. This is a, uh, is it McDonald's? Uh, don't know. Oh, Burger, I'm sorry, Burger King from 1989. This is a Burger King premium of a record breaker. And this is actually a toy that came out in the uh, late 80s, record breakers. So I liked it a lot. This is a Chevron when they used to, I don't think they do the uh, characters anymore of the uh, cars with faces that talk uh, from the same guy that created uh, Wallace and Gromit. So the Chevron car, so that was cool. I got another premium of a Chippendale Little Racer. The only thing that I hate about these is that the backs here had the removable propellers and so they always get lost or they're always incomplete but I still like this as the as a racer very cool this is a tailspin little die cast uh, vehicle here uh, from I don't know, there's no date but I still like that very cool it goes in my collection because I do not have him and I got this Matchbox camper trailer. Very cool. I have no idea exactly what this is, but it's marked Bandai from, uh, what was that year again? 2003. I'm assuming it's not like a Power Rangers or something. And I'm, it looks like it's an incomplete toy, but I still had to get it. So if anybody out if like if anybody out there knows exactly what this goes to or what it is, let me know. Oh, and the other thing too is maybe you'll get it from this is that this opens up, so it looks like mini figures go inside of the cockpit. Okay, so let me know what that goes to. Uh, here's another premium that I'm going to use for Halloween. Not crazy about it, but I just want to keep it for the Halloween sake. Okay, I don't know what he goes to, but he looks like he went to a toy because of the little hole in his ass there. So, I've got this Star Wars figure, so that was cool to get that. And actually, I got two more Star Wars figures, but these look like, I mean again, Hasbro, but they just look really horrible. I mean, especially the face. I don't know if they're knockoffs or whatever. And even look at his his leg. It looks like he's floating in air. Look at that. I mean, that is just so freaking horrible. So I, I'm thinking that these might be knockoffs. I mean, all they say is, I mean, they do say Hasbro in 1999 on the bottom, so they are from Phantom Menace. But I don't know. They just look too cheap to, who knows, I don't know. So, here is a scorpion with a skull. I like that. 
I'm gonna, I might use him for, because I'm starting to do a custom, I might use this for a custom of, of one of my badass babies or something, I don't, I don't know, so, I might have him as like, they, they ride him or something, here is a, since I collect these, another rabbit bendy, I, I, not just the rabbit bendies, but I collect the bendies, but I'm always finding the rabbit ones, or the Easter ones. Here is a PVC of Marvin the Martian. Here is a kid robot, Bart Simpson. That was awesome. I've got a, uh, forget what year this was marked. Is it 2002? 2007. This is a Voltron. Uh, not sure if it's a knockoff toy, but this is a Voltron. So. I've got a Fisher Price uh, Rescue Hero. So that was awesome. I like that a lot. I've got a McDonald's Premium from, is it 2000? Is this 2015? Wow. Okay. So this is just some kind of a, almost looks like a Mad Max Bigfoot. I mean, with the uh, bumps on there. It looks like a Mad Max car. Okay. And then here's some stuff for army men. A flag and like the bunker type of thing. So that's going to go in my collection to be used. Uh, very cheapy cars that you find at Dollar Tree once again. So that's just going to go in my box. Okay. I've got this other Pokemon, which I'm going to keep because I'm going to use this for a specific photo. So, although that was kind of cool. So for right now, I'm keeping it, but if somebody's interested in it, let me know. Okay. I have got a Indiana Jones paperback. Indiana Jones in the Hollow Earth. So it's very cool. I've got a very clean copy of XS Moto PlayStation, and it does come with the instructions. I mean, it's super clean, like, like it never had been played, or just had been opened up and never played. Okay. I have got... Now, I'm going to use these as minifigures for toy photos, but these actually go to a Clue board game. And... I want to show you. I just think they'd be great as used for like minifigures. Although that was pretty cool. Okay. I've got this other action figure here. Okay. And he came with a backpack. So that was pretty cool. Now this piece I got just because it goes to a Spider-Man playset that I got about a month ago. So I, I saw that and I knew exactly what that was. So that goes to a Spider-Man playset. And I got that for free. This is a Matchbox Jeep. I like that uh, tiger printing I guess. So that was pretty cool. This has to be glued just a, as you can see it's just a little broken there but that can be repaired and glued and looking good as new again so this is from 1981 I really like this this is the cookie monster train really love that die cast metal love it another army man type of thing and I love this because I don't have anything like this so I was happy to get that this is a corpse elite little AT vehicle with gun turrets on the side, so I like that a lot. Okay. I've got a Fraggle Rock Racer. Premium. Love that. So cool. I've got a Batman. I think this is an Imagine X. So, that's going to go in my Imagine X collection. I've got this, uh, it's called Rubik's Revolution Electronic, and I got this for my friend Hutch because he collects Rubik's Cubes, and it does work, and I got this for like 69 cents. Crazy. Uh, let's see, what else? 
at Goodwill, brand new in the package, Teenage Turtle figure. Okay, so that's going to go on my uh, wall of uh, packaged action figures. Uh, I got this at Goodwill, or is it Goodwill? Yep, Goodwill, 69 cents. This is the McDonald's Garfield glass, and it's clean, very clean. Uh, I was really happy to get that. It says, I'm easy to get along with when things go my way. And then you got Odie and the other doing all the work. I got this Teenage Turtles uh, all terrain vehicle, I guess, and it is complete. It's not broken, so that's going to go in my little collection there. Uh, it is missing the projectiles, though. That's uh, one thing it is missing. I got this. From Goodwill, it's the Jax TV games plug and play, five games in one. It's actually from Star Wars Three, and um, but very cool. So I'll be playing that. I just like the controller, and this actually came in, I think, four different designs. It came like with like R two and C three PO. So um, that was cool to get the Darth Vader one. And I think the Darth Vader one is the most common. Uh, this is a PVC figure of a outer space man with a boombox. If I can get that a little bit more in focus for you, there you go. Or maybe not so much a boombox, but just like one of his um, outer space equipment, I guess. Okay. Uh, this is the Judy Jetson car that I'm keeping because I got two of them. Uh, I do collect the Golden Books, as you know, and this is from, uh, let's see what the year was on this, 1961, uh, originally, this is the 12th printing, and it says 1981, but it's very clean, there's no writing in it, so that's why I got it, and it, because it's an iconic character, so... Uh, again, very clean uh, version here, the Muppet Treasure Island Golden Book, and I got it just because it was Muppets. I got this one, Mickey's Christmas Carol. Again, very clean, no writing. And here is, I think this is my, is it, I think this might be my oldest one that I got. And this is 1951. Uh, it says copyright renewed, 1979. But uh, it says I can fly, and this looks almost brand new except uh, it's just a little um actually it doesn't even look that much worn but i mean it, it's very clean very flat it's uh not worn so i really like that i'm trying to get all my other toys in here to show you i got this guy for like 50 cents there we go this is a premium a Spin Master Premium, and this is awesome. Uh, this is, I'm not letting this go. This is very cool. And then this is a Fisher Price Little People School Bus, slightly faded with the sticker, and in the back there, it's slightly faded, and it just needs to be cleaned up just a little bit there. I just didn't clean it yet. So that's going to go in my collection. This is an Imagine X dinosaur. That's going to go in my Imagine X collection. Oh, this is a Spider Man figure, I think. And uh, it has lots of uh, articulation, and even in the tail, which I find really awesome because he'll, uh, I can position his tail in different positions for when I do some toy photos. But I really like that a lot. Okay, and then something I have for somebody, uh, the, the serious um, Imagine X collectors out there. I got, this is unbelievable how I got this for 69 cents. They had, they had it labeled 99 cents, but the day I went, uh, Goodwill on Tuesdays does casino employee, and I'm a casino employee. And uh, I got this for 69 cents. So this is the uh, Imagine X Gotham City Jail. It does work because it has a light at the top. And there's only one piece missing, and that's the bat signal at the top of this. But if anybody wants to use this for a display piece, and this goes to the Collector's Talk Trading Circle only. 
So let me know if you would like to have this just as a display piece. So like um, uh, Count Stankus or um, Starner, let me know. And uh, that will be yours. Uh, what else did I get here? Oh, very quickly. Uh, now it's not toys, but I am a camera collector. I love photography, as you know. So I got this Yashica 35mm camera FX103 program SLR camera for $19.99. It came with an automatic or electronic flash, program flash. Let's see if I can show that really quick. It came with that. And it came with a 50mm lens and uh, the case and instructions. So I was very... That that made my bait and that made my day to get that. And then the very last thing I'm going to show you that I got for a dollar fifty, I think. And this is actually kind of big, but this is I'm going to have to point the camera up. This is a Spider-Man uh, playset here, and uh, it talks, which I'm going to quickly show you uh, that it does talk. And let's see if I can turn it on. Okay, so you press the button here. It's play time! The eyes light up. And it does do something inside where you're supposed to attach a figure. How stuntacular! Uh, and when he says stuntacular, that's the name of the. Um, play set. It's like the, the stunt action set or something like that. And then you can open this up. Which I'm going to turn... Okay, so it, it does different sound effects and voices. It does have another button up here that says stuff. Which it kind of sounds like R2-D2 in some strange way. And... Um, so that is uh, everything. So, and uh, before I end the video here, let me shut this off. Or else it's just going to go off. Okay, so, uh, and I'm pretty sure I showed you everything. I hope I, oh, I, there is one other thing. Look at this. Uh, for 69 cents, I did get this Bakugan uh, wall shelf. And I don't collect Bakugan, but it does make a great shelf for minifigures. So that's going to go on my wall, and I'm going to put some minifigures on it. So very cool for 69 cents. And see, there's one other thing. This I got for 99 cents. I know exactly what this is. This is an Imaginex uh, dinosaur saddle. It goes to a. Um, I know what it. I know the exact dinosaur it goes to. I just can't pronounce the damn thing, and I'm not going to do it right now. So, uh, so that was really cool to get that. Okay, and that is uh, everything, uh, kids. So, uh, comment below. Let me know what you thought of my huge toy haul. And uh, like and comment. Subscribe. If you haven't subscribed, uh, please do. In the description below is my Flickr page for my toy photography. And also... Uh, there's uh, friends in my Collector's Talk trading circle. You can check out their videos. And one last thing to show you because I always do forget something. This was the first edition of the $10,000 Pyramid uh, board game. I got this for $2.99. And it is complete. And these go for like uh, the first editions. You'll know that if it's a first edition or not by the top corner here. It'll say first, second, or third. And this is the first edition. And these, the first editions go for like $70 complete on eBay. And I got it. But it's going to go in my um, uh, board game collection. So, that is everything. I hope you enjoyed the video. And since it's uh, December 31st, Happy New Year everybody. And see you in 2016. And uh, you will be seeing very shortly a top 15 countdown of my uh, toys that I got from thrift stores or flea markets. So have a happy new year and thank you for watching.